Welcome back everyone to the Hello World Guy and this is episode number 11 of the first person shooter series that we have got and intermediate series to the, if you want to develop more advanced games using Unity and uh, uh, in today's video we are gonna finish our ammo system so it's going to be really int uh, exciting so yeah let's get started now if you remember in the last video we have got a working ammo system except the fact that it doesn't actually subtract the ammo or check whether we have got ammo when we are actually shooting so what we are going to do is we are going to open up our ammo weapon.cs script uh, and I've got my hitscan weapon to open that as well and I've added the debug log in the scan weapon now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go under the start method uh and not the start method in here you can see we've got a bunch of methods and we've got an add ammo method now what i'm going to do is i'm going to basically uh copy this method over and call it uh, subtract ammo i guess because why not and uh, let's just add a mm, some variable here and by default i'm going to actually set it to one the reason i'm doing that is because we can call it uh, and it will actually just uh, decrement the ammo if we do not provide it with an argument so what we need to do uh, another thing we need to do is we need to add a private void here called reload uh, and uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it and in the set ammo we need to add another condition here which checks uh, mm, if uh, our ammo is uh, less than uh, uh, zero then we are gonna go ahead and call the reload mm, reload method that's that's pretty exciting and uh, we will mm, fix um, we will add stuff to the reload method in a second but the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm going to go under the shoot method and uh, i'm gonna just basically add the sub ammo after it so that it basically decreases my ammo and because it's got a default parameter we don't need to specify one here explicitly we can specify something like two if we want to but this will work as well and uh, yeah that's pretty exciting to know but uh, now what we need to do is we need to fill up this reload method now all this reload method is going to do it is going to check if our stored ammo the ammo that we have got stored is greater than oh come on <laughs> is greater than or uh, this is a bit wrong is greater than or equal to the uh you know mm, the magazine size which means that what we need to do is we need to set the um uh, ammo is equal to our magazine size and then we need to take our stored ammo and we need to subtract the magazine size from it and if that is not the case which means that uh, we have got a smaller stored ammo then what we need to do is we need to basically say uh, stored ammo is equal uh, well we need to say ammo is equal to all of the stored ammo that we have caused because we cannot possibly have more and just set the stored ammo is equal to zero and this is actually going to work and uh, yeah that that hopefully should work so let's go under unity and let's see how well that goes so once it has compiled just go ahead and hit the play button and what you should see is that uh, well we have got a uh, so uh, our ammo counter shows 10 over 10 and this is the ammo and then the other 10 is the stored ammo and we click and that means uh, you can see we get the shoot method in here and then again and again six five four three two one zero and then it immediately goes to ten and i can keep doing it uh, and once it reaches zero i can i can still shoot uh, that doesn't stop but i can no longer actually you know mm, the ammo does not decrease anymore and what we need to do is basically just to fix this problem we need to add a block here and add an if condition here checking if our ammo is greater than zero by the way i'm going to go here and yeah that that does seem to be working all right so let's go to unity and this is going to fix all of the problems and now we should not be able to shoot if we haven't got any ammo which which does make a lot of sense that's that was supposed to happen uh so yeah let's let's it play and see if that works uh, and hopefully it will so yeah you can see that it's still compiling and once it is compiled uh, now i'm going to just hold my button uh, it's not actually working uh, that's because we have got one thing that we need to implement which i actually forgot to implement earlier and you can see that that is a terrible problem which is that uh, if we reach ammo zero then it doesn't reload anymore so what we need to do is we need to go here add in an s statement or actually we can we don't need to do that we can just remove this block and that should cause the problem because we will call sub ammo which will try to get the ammo to negative which will try to which will basically reload the gun automatically so we don't want to add extra logic here and this will work and uh, there is one more thing that i need we need to implement right now uh, about the gun that i think i forgot so yeah let me just hit play uh, which we are going to implement that uh, in this video uh, let me hit play and let's see if our ammo system is working or not so you can see that 
uh, I can um, shoot and uh, it reaches zero and then I can keep shooting and once it reaches zero I can no longer shoot which is pretty awesome so yeah that, that's really nice and now we have got this working which is pretty exciting so yeah now we need to add that little problem that our gun is not automatic which is obviously something that we want so we want to make our gun automatic so how are we gonna do that